The category of chronograph watches has always been a popular one. Brands such as Omega, Zenith and Rolex are pioneers in the commercial sense and continued relevancy of the humble chronograph. Today we'll try to avoid getting too deep into the whole history of chronographs and why it's so important to the watch world, but today we really want to talk about the best chronographs available for £500. It's easy to be distracted by some of the big players in the watch world, so we really want to prioritise the small brands who are creating watches for the right, passionate reasons. First up, Baltic watches. Based in the east of France, Baltic watches are all about the traditional craftsmanship in watchmaking taking an authentic inspiration from the seemingly endless world of vintage watches. This is naturally something that translates perfectly in their range of watches, particularly the Bicompact 001. Powered by the popular Seagull ST1901, the Bicompact 001 has the look and feel of a genuine vintage watch. The 38mm case, gilt colouring on the dial with that black dial backdrop, all evoke the feeling of a genuine vintage watch on the wrist. And for approximately £460, you can add a piece to your collection that aesthetically is vintage, with the added bonus of knowing if anything happens to the movement, the brand is still in business and just an email away with the required support. Next up is Nizumi, a really interesting brand created in Stockholm. A self-confessed vintage car and watch enthusiast is behind the brand, with the right eye for creating watches. Nizumi currently have only chronographs in their range, with two quite distinctive styles appearing. First is a military chronograph, and another is a very motorsports racing themed piece. The Voiture is our suggestion here, with its clever use of colours, distinctive angles, mixtures of finishes and that considered design. Powered by the VK63 Mecha Quartz movement, and costing about £300, we think it deserves your attention. Oh, and because David, the man behind the brand, is a designer, the packaging is very cool on this piece. Here we have the Pink Panther Limited Edition, however they do offer more subtle options on the site. Next up we have something a little closer to home, and the Gakota C04 Racing Chronograph. Released in October, the C4 is powered by the VK64 Mecha Quartz movement, featuring a first for the brand, a fully ceramic bezel. The watch has motorsport themed touches throughout, from the clever use of colour to the font used on the tachymeter and the contrasting seconds track. You also get a date window at the 6 o'clock position for that extra usability. A subtly curved stainless steel case side and clever polishing around the lugs really emphasises the case's appealing details. It's tricky to pass comment on this watch without sounding biased, but I do genuinely believe you get a lot of watch for your money here. Available in three colours, green, blue and black, all fitted to our ever popular sailcloth straps. The C4 is currently available for £299. And finally, we have Christopher Ward. Christopher Ward is a very established player in the microbrand world, creating all manner of watches from dress, diving watches, travel watches, and of course, chronographs. The watch in question here is the C3 Grand Tourer. A 39mm case which is just 10.8mm thick makes up the watch's core DNA with a bright, colourful, clearly racing themed dial. The watch is powered by the Ronda 5021D quartz movement, so you will get a tick to the chronograph hand rather than the sweep you see on the Mecha quartz powered watches. There is also a blue dial and silver dial option to choose from, if you find the green to be a little too much for you. Priced at £395 on the leather strap, this is a fantastic option if you want to add something from Christopher Ward to give you a taste of what the brand can really offer. So there you have it, a few chronographs that all fall under the £500 mark that offer great value for money, be it statistically or visually. Be sure to let us know in the comments below which is your pick of the bunch. Of course let us know your thoughts below on these buying guides and if you'd like to see more. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.